back to my Japan stationery vlog number two. This is going to be about all the Traveler's Factory locations that I visited in Japan. I have always been a big fan of Traveler's Factory. I have fallen more in love with using the system this past year. There's something magical about customizing everything that goes into it. The brand feels very analog and timeless. I wanted to film my experience here, but I wanted to be careful and not get anyone in the shot. So the footage is going to be choppy. Plus, I didn't want to get kicked out. All places allowed me to film except the Tokyo Station location, which was frustrating because I only wanted a shot for Instagram. And I later discovered that some Instagrammers were able to sneak a shot and video in from that same place. I will share with you near the end of the video my hauls from all locations. Uh, I have been to this Nakamikuro location during my first time in Japan. Uh, and next is the other location in Kyoto. Traveler's Factory Kyoto location luckily was so close uh, to my hotel. I stayed at the Mitsui Garden Hotel and it was just right around the corner. And I was able to vi visit this location multiple times because of that reason. Um, and I was just trying my best not to just buy everything. Um, so I did pick up this pouch multiple times in uh, the other location too, but I ended up skipping it. And I really like the look and decor of all of these shops. And you can also order or buy some TSL bags and products there. I did some shopping, of course, at this location. And my main focus was to pick up the Kyoto specific um, products that are unique to the store and that is some um, inserts and I did look at the Kyoto um, Traveler's Notebook cover that you can only get here um, but I don't know I just I have other covers that I gravitate towards more than this one and although it's really pretty I did not pick it up but um, I did pick up the Swiss Army knife. Unfortunately, I forgot to take it out of my carry-on luggage and did not put it into my check luggage. So it did get confiscated at um, immigration or the security check. Um, so yeah, note to self in the future and note to you if you are um, headed to Japan. Um, so this is one of the ones I picked up. This one is the tea leaf notebook and it's infused into the pages um tea leaves that is and i knew this product um existed the first time i saw it i was like that is such a cute cover and I, i'm such a huge fan of tea so this was a no-brainer and i kind of wish i picked up two of these notebooks um but i just feel like i'm going to be keeping it and not even be using it and just looking at it because it's just so pretty and that is actually the dark uh the blue one actually um the kyoto cover that you can pick up here but i did not uh go for that and here's a close-up of it it's really nice um i think it has gold rose gold foiling but yeah i did not get it but I'll share with you um, what I got here. Um, I mostly just stuck with the accessories. Um, I did get that blue uh, little bag there that says Kyoto on it. So I really wanted to get some souvenirs specific to Kyoto. And I can't believe I didn't get pick up any of these beautiful um, ballpoint pens. But oh well. Um, so yeah. So um, other than that, they had this notebook. Um, promotion going on i think this notebook bookmark thing um, but i did not participate in that
they had so many of the pan am stuff but um i did not pick up anything um, from that line i really wanted to limit myself because i knew i couldn't just buy everything i saw and they also had the tote bags and the little um, baggies drawstring bags I made sure that I picked up at least one washi tape from Traveler's Company. I still have a few left from my first travels to Japan and I haven't used it. So I made sure I only picked up one this time. And they just have so many cute little accessories and postcards. Um, but yeah, I couldn't pick up everything so let it admit it myself. And outside uh, in the area, there is this really, really beautiful botanical shop. And I was just in awe of the display. And as you can see, Ace Hotel Kyoto is actually right next to that. Next, we are going to Tokyo Station. So this traveler's factory is inside Tokyo Station. And there's so, so many shops here, you can spend hours because there's also restaurants. Um, at this location, I visited twice on this trip because I went back after they released the 2024 inserts and stickers. I was also able to use the stamp station here and I stamped throughout my journal that I was journaling in throughout the trip. So that's what you're looking at here. I basically just picked out all my favorite ones and I went crazy and stamped all on the cover throughout the pages and all of that. So that was pretty fun. Next and final one is the Traveler's Factory F Airport location, which was closed when I arrived in Japan and then now it's departing i'm departing here and i came early to pick up uh one cover that i really really wanted for years because the first time i regret not getting it and that is the travelers um have a nice trip passport size in black and i just went for it i wanted to journal in this cover throughout the trip but unfortunately was not able to pick it up until now so now it is the end of the video and I will share with you my haul. So let me share with you my haul. I basically bunched all of the hauls from all the factories together into this one package. And we will just start from the first location, which is the Nekamekuro. Um, and then next is I went to Kyoto and then I went to the Travelers Station and then went to Travelers Airport. Alright, so let's do that in that order and I will try to get through these as fast as possible um, because I don't want this to be too long. So won't get into like all the details and I will just share with you what I selected uh, from the shops. So as I was taking stuff out, I actually um, found that I purchased this uh, brass tag, which from the Traveler's um, Starbucks Reserve location. And I guess it fell into my bag at the bottom and I didn't see it, but um, I did also purchase this uh, brass tag to go with my um, Starbucks Reserve Roastery um, passport. So if you haven't seen my previous vlog um, and haul, I'll link it above in the corner. But uh, this is the passport camel that I purchased from the Starbucks Reserve in Tokyo. And um, never mind this uh, brass pin. This is from my Kirishiki haul at TSL. And that video is coming up um, not exactly sure which day, but I still need to edit that. But yeah, this is to go with this um, no notebook cover. So, uh, and I will also do um, a flip through of my journal while I was on the trip, and that's going to be in an upcoming video. So if you have haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. That really helps me out. Okay, so. 
this is all the stuff that I picked up at my first uh, Travelers Factory um, location that I went to, which is the Nicomicaro location. Uh, this location, if you're planning to go, is about seven minutes walk from uh, Tobichi, which is Hobonichi's shop. Um, and so I recommend planning a day to be, you know, going to Hobonichi and Travelers Factory in one day. So um, I will share with you, let's see here, what did I get? So this, uh, as you can see in my video, they had like a brown one. This is more for the passport size. Uh, it's not the longer version, the taller one. Um, and I thought it was so cute because it said, you know, coffee on it. And I've recently been drinking more coffee this year. And before I was previously a tea person, but I really do understand um, and like the taste of coffee now. And I just love this camel color. So I just put all the small stuff that I got in here. So let's just set that to a side. And all the small stuff that I got, um, let's see. So I saw they had these numerous, uh, I don't know, business card size little um, card, like note cards. And I just thought it was the cutest thing. So I just picked them up here. Um, I think this one is actually the same. Actually, yeah, they're all variate a little bit differently. They're a little bit different, which is cool. This one has the Traveler's Factory building on it, which is cute. And this one is the boarding pass. And I don't know if they're all different. Too. Oh, they are. Oh, that's so cute. Look at all these designs. I love this one. Uh, this is going to be so cute to put... Um, inside the what do you call it those uh, plastic sleeves in to decorate your travelers notebooks and this one I love as well and our you know the local shops like the partner shops they never have these little cute little uh, ephemera pieces so when I was in Japan and I saw these it was a no-brainer to pick it up because it's actually even cheaper directly in Japan, obviously, um, because you're not paying for the export fees and custom fees. Anyways, look how cute that is. I love it. Um, so that's the note cards. Uh, and then this one I picked up. Um, I don't actually, I think I picked this one up at Kyoto location, I'm pretty sure. And it's just like this little this little charm pretty sure I picked this up at the Kyoto location I don't know why it's in here um, probably misplaced it but I think it's a logo for like another company or brand it looks like a French horn or like a you know like a trumpet or something like that I have no idea I could be completely wrong so I have no idea what brand Japanese company or collaboration this was from I have no idea so if you know, let me know, but it's basically just a charm to put on your notebook and it's like a button. And I thought that was really, really cute. Like, I love buttons. So um, yeah, so I picked this one up there. I think it was at the Kyoto location. Um, and then at this Nekomegoro location, which is their flagship store, uh, I, I saw these really cute, I don't even know, I think these are like, I don't know, keychains or something like that. You put your keys on it, I think, or on your luggage. I'm not sure, but they are so cute. They had several different designs. I just went with the top two that I really, really liked. And I would probably never be able to, or, you know, want to pay extra for shipping on Etsy or eBay or, cause the price is always jacked up. These are specially uh, specialty items direct exclusively to Japan from Japan and we don't we can't get it in Toronto so uh, I picked up this one because it's so cute it says hotel have a good day and I don't know why it says 2006 but I don't know it's just so cool looking um, I have no idea how I'm going to use these but this one is good music records from that uh, records collection and I just thought it was just the cutest thing ever um, no idea how I'm going to use it 
and they had like another blue one uh, for like I think the airport or something or I, I don't know um, but uh, and this is a leather coaster that I picked up I always wanted one of these and uh, I never got around to getting it and I think they sell it at the uh, travelerscompany.com website and I took it out and I've already been using it it's right here and it just makes the perfect um, coaster because it's made out of leather and it's very hard wearing and it's soft and this mug is from uh, TSL Kirishiki uh, and it's the cutest little mug ever it's so high quality and the ceramic is really thick and heavy and I just uh, love this and um, it's going to be included in my Kirishiki haul because uh, I have that video coming up but I'm already using it because I can't wait um, to use it and it's perfect and I'm just drinking some milk tea over here and yeah so that's the um, brown one that I got so it's like actually a dark brown and then oh so I picked up some postcards actually this one says take a rest which is cute there's Mount Fuji in the background and I believe this is the um, Kawaguchiko, I have no idea, the lake, the, the lake in front of um, Fuji. Uh, and then this one is the boarding pass. I thought that was cute as well. And then I couldn't resist getting this cute Renapur. Uh, to, uh, it says to care for your traveler's notebook leather care and it's really small and I wanted to get a small one but I didn't think it was like this small but it comes with a sponge so I thought it was a nice set to have I currently have no type of like leather bombs for my traveler's notebooks so this is really going to help me I had trouble getting that this brand like in the small size they have huge ones on Amazon but I saw this and I'm like, well, I'm here. Why not just pick it up? And it's actually so tiny, but you just need a little bit. And um, the applicator, it comes with this sponge. So I don't know. I just thought it was such a cute uh, package and I just didn't even hesitate. I mean, this is such a cute packaging. I just like totally falling for that. So this is the five milliliter uh, one. So that's so cute. Put that over here um, and then uh, with my order they said uh, it includes a free bookmark so that's the free bookmark oops don't know what it says but that is the cute little bookmark and here is my receipt from Nekomekuro Fact Travelers Factory location and that's how much everything cost as you can see it's a lot less than uh, what we have to pay here and most of the stuff that I got you can't even get here so that's around my total so about a hundred dollars US or something like that for the whole haul um, so this you can get from bomb kuchen directly on their website the journey is a destination because that was that's a this is a collab bomb kuchen item and I saw it and I'm like you know what Bomb Kujin is so expensive, come, like delivering to Canada, um, at least the orders that I've had. So this is, you know, I'm just like, I am going to, I'm going to pick this up too, because I love it. I love it. I love it. And now it's like just a craft. And this would be good for like sketches and stuff, like ideations, projects. So this is really cute. And this is my favorite, my favorite, um, like slogan logo um that they came up with so and i like this is the one that's on my black custom uh travelers cover this is the one that's on it so i love that and then i saw this which is so vintagey and so cute and uh yeah of course i i'm like i'm gonna pick this up and i think this is a collaboration with yeah the um Tokyo Metro Tokyo Metro so let's see what is it 
and it's just like a blank cream page. Honestly, I didn't have to buy all these blank like notebooks, but I just couldn't help it because look how pretty it is. And then I do regret getting stuff that I can get on the dot com website, which is these books like th th I I wanted to get this for so, so, so long. And I'm like, well, you know what? I didn't think that it's going to add the weight to my luggage, but it did. This is substantial. Don't get this if you're going to Japan because we can literally buy this online or at our local shops. Um, it's not as readily available, but you can. I did pick up this special, actually, you know what? This actually, this special issue, I do not think I picked this one up from here. I picked this one up. I'm getting it all mixed up. Okay, guys, this I think I picked up when I went to the Tokyo station location when they got the 2024 release the release stickers and inserts and I picked this one up there I believe uh yeah so this is not from the Nekomikuro because by that time this wasn't even out yet and look at how beautiful this is I'm so gonna wanna frame this I love it I love this spread I love this look I love the photo I love the the um, typography here and the layout and look at that soft peach it's, it's goes so well with that um, sepia toned vintage toned photo it's amazing I love it I love every time when I open one of these I'm just like so pretty and beautiful I love collecting these I love it I absolutely love 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 this so that is my haul from the Nekomekuro mostly from Nekomekuro location so I'm going to move on now to the Kyoto what I got in Kyoto so let me just put these all away And guys, I have been saving all of these things. I've been back for about two weeks now and I have not even opened these because I wanted to open these with you. Like I, it was so hard to not go through what I got um, because I really wanted to save it for the video. And I'm, I actually tried to film this yesterday but something went wrong with my video so that's why I have to so that's why some things I went through yesterday night already so my next location is the Kyoto location and um, I was so lucky that my hotel was just a few minutes away around the corner to Travelers Company Kyoto and it's such a beautiful area it's very um, it's very modern and urban, um, as you can, you know, see or you saw in my video. Uh, and I do recommend staying at a hotel close by if you're planning to come here. It's a very nice central location with everything you need, including a Starbucks. Right, it was right across my hotel. I stayed at the Meat Sweet Garden Hotel. Um, but next time, I would definitely go to stay at the Ace Hotel. Um, and that would mean it's directly connected to Travelers uh, Kyoto. The whole building is like connected. Um, and yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, let's see. So this bag is actually, um, like I said, it's, it says Kyoto. This means Kyoto. Um, like I don't read Japanese. I just know that is spells Kyoto. Um, and I just love it. It's like this navy, navy color. I think it'll look very well with my navy or blue travelers covers. So let's see what I got here. And I did not get a lot because I didn't get any covers here because I needed, to, well, let's see what's in here. There's my receipt. Um, okay, so this is my travelers Kyoto. So as you can see, uh, I spent about, again, $100. I went back about two times because I was so close to this area.
because the first time I forgot to uh, do any stamping here. And then the second time I actually went back to stamp. Uh, you know, that's like the only thing I did was to stamp. Um, so let's see. I purchased these two inserts. These are specific to the Kyoto Traveler's Factory location. I have seen this beautiful green tea leaf paper insert for ages and I've always wanted it and I can't believe I went and only got one copy of this. This is the cutest, cutest um, insert ever. Not only that, it's actually infused with tea leaves. Like how amazing and beautiful are the pa You can't even see it in the camera but it is um, like a light matcha color these pages are light matcha it's so pretty this is the cutest notebook and I think the perfect thing um, to use with this is a tea journal or like even a coffee journal or how about a cafe journaling notebook where I visit all the cafes in Toronto and then I journal about each location that would be amazing I think I would use this beautiful 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 insert for that purpose I think it would do it justice I think so carefully putting it back into the package so it's safe um, so knowing that I picked up this Kyoto one just because I don't know I didn't have a lot of time uh, when you know when I shop at these locations I feel like I'm always in a rush because I need to get enough time here like I can spend hours at these shops but I can't it's limited because you know you're traveling you know you have to catch your train to the next location you have to if you spend too long you'll you know you won't be able to see uh, a shrine or a temple because it closes or a park you know so my trip was like very fast paced like this Kyoto location you got 30 minutes now go and then after that we're going to you know catch a restaurant reservation or our train is going to depart at this time or like we you know we got to hit all of these like tourist spots by this time so that we can get back and rest like there were so many like it was it was a tight schedule so that didn't really help with the shopping um because I don't even know what I'm going to do with this like this is a really cute rose gold foiled uh, notebook and it's Kyoto, it says Kyoto and it's like a souvenir that I went here. So uh, the thing is, I don't know because it's plain, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just, I didn't have enough time to like, okay, do I really want this? Do I not? It was just like, if you don't get it now, you're not coming back or you're, you're you know, you might not be able to come back. And get it so uh, I didn't even have time to think that I might want two of these beautiful this this one is my favorite I didn't even have time to think I wanted to get two it's just oh I have one great let's move on right same thing with this okay so you know just letting you know uh, how it's gonna feel like when you do plan to go to these shops uh, if you you know if you're like me and you want to get the most out of Japan that's what you're gonna have to do unfortunately um, uh, and then I picked up this um, passport size leather, um, you know, so I'm just going to show you. I'm already, I was using it throughout the trip and I don't even know. I think I put my pictures in here. Uh, yeah, I did. I put my Instax or whatever in here and I don't know what I put in here. I think I put, oh, I think I have some... I think I have some, oh, I still have, I kept this, I still have 500 yen, guys, uh, hiding in here, I'm just going to keep it in there, so that's what this is, uh, and then I bought some elastics, because obviously I needed to expand my notebook, and then I went back to do stamping, I think, and I went back, or no, I did not, this was, this, most of this is all from the first visit, uh, they just packaged it, the small stuff, into like one uh, little bag. 
So I, this is the only washi tape I picked up. Traveler's Factory. And I don't know, it's just for nostalgic sake. You know, you always, they always like tape it up in this tape. Uh, and then of course, I love this pen. It's so cute. Been seeing it everywhere, um, you know, throughout the years. Uh, and I actually really, really, really like the look of this. In the store, they had like A17, A19, all these like different numbers. And I just picked this one. So I can't wait to put that on one of my notebooks. And then I picked up, of course, a brass tag that says Kyoto on it because I was like, I need a souvenir. I need a souvenir. This is my first time coming to the Kyoto factory location. I have to get the Kyoto stuff. So, so yeah, that's, um, guys, that's actually all the stuff that I bought at this, you know, this Kyoto location. And um, the second time I just went back to stamp. I didn't buy anything. So that's, I really limited myself and I did see the beautiful, beautiful notebooks from there, like the covers, the, the exclusive covers, but um, I didn't really gravitate towards that. I, and um, I didn't plan on purchasing that uh, on this trip anyway, because I have another blue one, the Yudo cover. You guys know I love that. So I'm sticking with that one. I do not need another cover. So I did not buy it. And this is the only thing I got at Kyoto. So now let's get into the Traveler's Station location, which is at Tokyo Station. So I asked them to, you know, wrap it up. It's a gift. And um, unfortunately they did, but it didn't come with a leather tag. I think they changed things up since the last time I visited, which was six years ago. I think you had to purchase the tag. Can someone tell me? Like I saw on YouTube, like I was watching all of the unboxings, like of people who visited um, the factories and they all got like this leather pin. And I think I briefly saw like a notice somewhere saying if you need the tag, it's like something you have to ask for it or it's like, you know, you have to pay first. I don't know. Uh, I was again, I was like in a rush, I felt like. And I'm just like, just tape it like it's a gift. And I didn't ask anything. Um, so they did ask me, which sticker do you want? And I'm like, I saw happy birthday. I'm like, why not? Happy birthday, because <laughs> it's cute. And I didn't know they had that, but uh, yeah. So this, at least I got, which is the baggage check, which is really cute. And yeah, so that's how they wrapped it up. And this bag just says, have a nice job. Of course, I'm keeping all of these for ephemera purposes. And there's another washi tape. Um, hold on a sec. Yeah, so this is all from the station. This part is actually from this. I, the first time I went, I did not get much because I already had the station um, traveler's notebook the first time I went to Japan, which is this one. And I journaled in this one. Um, and I did do a flip through, I believe, of this. Oh, I don't have my, I don't have my Japan journal in here. I took it out. It's an archive, but. I was journaling in this, and this is the Tokyo Station exclusive, which I already have, so I did not bother buying anything else. So I went back a second time uh, after they released the 2024 stuff, and I was able to get this with my purchase. Traveler's Town, and I'm actually so excited about this. This is my first free leather tag that I received. I wanted to get the previous two years one uh, from .com website, and I didn't order because I was using Hobonichi, and I always regret it after all of these stickers I didn't get last year, and I always regretted it. Actually, I might have just gotten this sticker, but I didn't get anything else. I don't even remember. Like, I just didn't really buy the yearly release. So this year I'm like, I don't care. I, I'm i so into and feeling my travelers, you know, like system. So this year I'm gonna get all of it or try to get all of it. Um, I really am sad I missed out on the coffee one, the music one, because those ones I, I love. Even the books one looks nice. See, I missed out on all of these like stickers and tags but at least i got this one this one is traveler's town right there and can't wait to 
set that up and this is a brown one i think there's only brown right or i don't know but this is going to be treasured um and then uh i i uh basically got all of the release i think um oh no i did get this um these are stickers from uh exclusive at the station that you can get i believe of course i had to pick that up um and then i picked up these really cute cute pencil boards uh the pencil board i have is from like four years ago i think uh the tokyo station i think i don't know it was like a long time ago and it's all warped so this is my second um if you can believe it uh I love this year's and I'm kicking myself because I didn't get it and I love the look of this year's. I love, absolutely love the coffee theme and I didn't get it. I don't know, like, I, I really need to, when I like something, I should just, you know, I don't know. It's just like, I didn't get the board this year and I really, really love that. Um, and look, this is Traveler's Town. I, I also like how they did it. Um, and then they have this one, which is really cute. This one is for passport size. I love the look of this. Um, I feel like the passport size always has really, 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 really cute pencil boards. Um, but anyways, I'm glad I picked both of these up. And then, of course, I picked up the customized sticker set for 2024. And it's really, really cute. And I can't wait to make use of these for 2024 in my travelers. Look at how cute this ice cream is. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this. Like every year they come up with these gorgeous sets of stickers. There's some tabs. Uh, and then look at that. And um, I do use these two like the most i don't know like the dot stickers i don't really use that much but it might change because i think it looks really good with the notebooks and these ones as well looks really nice so i and these i've used before you can see i've used um in my on my uh instagram i've used those to, to mark down the the year to decorate my pages and I just love this um, and then I'm just like this is so cute I have to have for both passport and the standard look at that ferris wheel I love it when you're alone you can always go to travelers Town. I just love the idea of this I love their themes the message that they send I just love it, it just works for me and I love it um, I did get I believe the standard size from two years ago i think um but this one just looks so cute um i believe this white clear part is um like transparent so like when you put stickers inside you can see through the plastic i think it looks creates this nice layered look see i think that's going to be really fun and it's the, something new that they did with these because when it first came out, they didn't have that. And then of course I got the diary, the 2024. I just love the uh, vertical. It's so pretty and uh, it comes in two books. I love these colors. I love this orange and I love this brown. Guys, I'm just all over this. I'm totally feeling it and I can't wait to figure out what my you know setup is going to be in terms of like how i'm gonna use all of these um but i'm so excited so that's what i got from the station i'm so happy that you know when they announced that it's going to be released i was like oh my god i'm actually in tokyo i can actually i'm in japan i can pick this stuff up in person i can get a free tag in person and like you know i'm just so so happy just the experience alone like being able to like have a new release and it's like i'm going to the store to the traveler's factory store to pick it up in person just that alone was just like that was really cool 
So then the last part of my haul is the Travelers Factory Airport, which was closed when I got to Japan my first day. Uh, well, my first half day, my flight landed um, and around four. And then I, you know, by the time you get through security checks and immigration, and then I picked up my Wi-Fi, pocket Wi-Fi, I, you know, did everything. And then it was like around five and they closed at five and I was, you know, trying to go at like five. And I'm like, oh crap, they just closed. Um, so I wasn't able to pick up that one passport cover from the airport edition that I've been eyeing for so long and thinking, why didn't I get it when I had the chance six years ago when I was at the airport location? Like, why didn't I get it? It's, you know, I, I can't, you know, like I wanted to use this one throughout my trip because I just felt it was perfect. And it was, I was so bummed out that I had to wait until uh, I left Japan. So until I took my flight home um, to pick this up because the airport is actually really far from central Tokyo and central Japan. It's, it's like about an hour, over an hour or so. Um, so uh, I went earlier to the airport on my departure date and they were open I'm like yes I'm I'm zeroing in I hope they have it in stock and I'm just gonna go for it uh, I didn't even stamp anything because I was like that's all I need I need a passport and let's get out of here so um, let's see what I picked up so um, it's kind of weird because I told them it was a gift and they forgot I think to pack it up or something uh i don't know maybe they misunderstood me um but at this location you're able to there's this like turn coin machine thing and i'm sure you've seen these these are just the buttons you get and i'm so bummed out i had no time i, I don't know i just i felt so pressured to just like you know get on with my flight and stuff like I bought three coins. You have to buy the coin from the cashier and the cashier gives you three coins to use on the machine. And um, so I did that and I bought three and I didn't get the bonsai one, which is the one I wanted since the first time I went. And then I got this one, I got two now. The first time I bought only one, the first time I went to Travelers, um, went to Japan six years ago, I have the same one, except the only thing different is she converted them to charms, the back, uh, where before I didn't even know you can do that. Oops. And I asked her to convert all of them to charms so I can attach it to my notebooks instead of like a pin, you know, like a button. Like, so yeah, she converted all of them. It took her only like, you know, a few seconds to do it. And this will look great on like my airport passport size that I got. But I really, I should have gone back and say, hey, I want to, I want to gamble more. I want to buy two more coins because I really wanted to try to get the bonds I won. But, you know, you can't win them all. So uh, this one is the Narita storefront, the airport one. Um, yeah, so that's what I got there. Um, and then, ta-da, this is what I wanted to get. And I did not open it because I was saving it for the video. <laughs> And it was so hard. Um, and then this one is have a nice trip. And I was like, you know what? Since I'm here, I'm just going to grab it. And I did pick this up. Thank God. Okay. I'm like, why didn't, like, I didn't, I didn't see it in my packages. But now I, on this video, I'm like, yes, I picked this passport size up. Because I picked up the, um, uh, the standard size one, which is in my, um, Hold on, which is I'm already using guys. There's stuff here I'm already using in my, you know, day to day stuff. So this one I did pick up in Kyoto because it's so pretty. And I'm just really glad that I picked it up the passport. I'm glad I picked up the passport to go with that. It's cute. You know, I um, saved my receipt. And yeah, here's another postcard that I picked up. This is the Narita Airport. Don't know why I only picked up one. It's kind of odd <laughs> to pick up just one postcard, but didn't want to, you know, spend too much time. But that's cute. 
and then I bought this I don't know just I feel like the yellow ochre color of this one really matches um, with this um, I'm just gonna open it because you guys want to see I think I hope and I also I also want to see in person how this looks like have a nice trip and oh my gosh I can't believe it's been so long oh my gosh I hope it's good okay oh wow wow okay look at that that is so cute right there and this is like for the longest time i thought this was like i thought this i thought this was like a blue traveler's um notebook but it's not it's black and i don't mind it i just have a lot of black now like i just love this i love how it's like not in foil and it's kind of like a muted gray and it kind of looks like a you know faded white you know and it gives it that nice faded look and it's gonna wear so nice i just love this oh my gosh oh and i have another one of this and this now I have two the one i actually used to journal in was this one um i didn't know it comes with it that is really neat and it is a more of a stiffer leather so it's a little different but look it's so pretty oh my gosh and i think this would look great inside this i just think it looks great like that the color just really pops okay guys thank you so much for watching and uh i will catch you in the next one it's going to be a hobonichi tobichi vlog and haul catch you next time and don't forget to subscribe bye